Hi guys, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. How are you doing today? Uh, so this video is going to be all about a brand that I discovered recently. I mean, this is going to be a fragrance haul, but this is going to be one single branded fragrance haul, obviously. Uh, so the brand I discovered recently, very affordable, very affordable. Uh, but it had amazing reviews on Fragrantica and I was really tempted. I decided to buy a couple of fragrances. It was so affordable that I just purchased five, well, I purchased six fragrances straight away. Uh, I'm going to show you these uh, and if you want to find out what fragrances I chose and what brand I'm talking about, keep watching. The brand I'm talking about is Pascal Morabito. I've seen some of these fragrances in online shops and I was actually quite curious, checked on Fragrantica and it turned out that these cheapies have like a really nice fragrances. Uh, so I decided to purchase a couple of them and I'm a strong believer that price does not always reflect the quality. Uh, sometimes you can buy something really cheap and have an amazing quality and sometimes you just pay so much money and the quality is questionable. So it doesn't always uh, come together. It's good to try both options and I was actually super excited to test these fragrances and decide if I like them or not for that price. So the price is between 10 and 14 pounds for a 100 ml. So as you can see, very affordable. Um, I got five fragrances and one extra <laughs> because the one extra is not for me. I got it for Robert. Um, so I'm going to show you that one at the end of the video. I'm not going to talk much about it because I don't know much about male fragrances. Um, as long as they smell nice, I don't care. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to show you all five fragrances I purchased for myself. So let's start with Lovissima. Uh, so this fragrance, it does remind me of something. It does remind me a little bit of a much sweeter version of La Vie et Belle. Uh, the bottle, as you can see, is not that bad actually, uh, apart from the cup, which is actually quite tacky, but oh well, in general, it's not bad, right? It smells a little bit like much sweeter La Vie et Belle, but here we have like a very, very prominent strawberry. Like for me, strawberries, strawberry and lychee are probably the most prominent notes. There is a lot of patchouli in this one, so you have to like patchouli to appreciate this fragrance. I love patchouli, I don't mind. I mean, any amount of patchouli for me is fine. <laughs> so I don't really mind. I find this fragrance really interesting. It's very, very sweet though. Uh, so to fully appreciate this, you need to love uh, sweet fragrances. Uh, so the notes here, the top notes are pear, strawberry and orange. Then we have middle notes, patchouli, lychee, rose. And the base notes are, are vanilla and red fruit. So as you can already tell, super sweet, super fruity. Uh, it reminds me a little bit in terms of like sweetness uh, of uh, Sofia Vergara Love, which is also another sweet version of La Vie Belle to me. Uh, but uh, Sofia Vergara's fragrance is more like darker and heavier, you know, probably due to the coffee note that's in it. Uh, this one is much more playful, um, like um, more of an everyday type of fragrance. Very sweet, not cloying though, at least to me. Mm, yeah, I actually quite like it, although it's not probably going to be like one of my favorites ever, but something a little bit different in my collection. Next one is a gold edition, uh, same packaging, um, unfortunately very similar bottle, but I mean, we're not going to comment on that bottle because uh, there's nothing left to say. I would like to, I would prefer to focus on the fragrance. So this... This is actually something else. I mean, it looks the way it looks, it's gold, uh, but the scent is, I mean, guys, I love the scent, actually. It reminds me a lot of Tom Ford Black Orchid. <laughs> it does, really. I mean, it's not the same fragrance, it's not a dupe or anything like that, but it has some similarities. There is dark chocolate note, there is truffle note, these are quite prominent, there is some patchouli. This is this smells expensive, guys. So the notes here are uh, truffle, bergamot, lang lang and cassis in top notes. Then middle notes, orchid, fruity notes, lotus. And then we have base notes, which is vanilla, patchouli and dark chocolate. So this is a lovely gourmand fragrance. Um, it just smells like something much, much more expensive than it is. This costs like, I don't know, 10, 11 pounds for the whole bottle. And honestly, you can't go wrong with this for that price. Uh, if you like, 
the type of vibe that you get from uh, Black Orchid, you should try this. Uh, if you're not going to like it, then, you know, it's only £10. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find someone who will love this. Uh, apart from the bottle maybe because you know it is what it is the next fragrance is something way out of my comfort zone uh, this is Pascal Morabito Prello Vert uh, and this is a shipper fragrance and I am not that good in that area yet I'm trying I'm slowly opening up I'm slowly like starting to uh, understand that these fragrances don't necessarily have to smell like my grandmother but these fragrances are quite old school and you kind of have to I think it's more of an acquired taste I guess I don't know I mean, maybe there are people who just like them naturally, but for me, this is something I kind of have to process, okay? So this fragrance, I mean, the bottle looks like this. I personally don't really like how it looks, although, I mean, I kind of get the vibe of this, like a very classic type of bottle, like very old school. Uh, to me, it looks quite cheap, but then again, these fragrances are cheap, so I think we can't really expect the bottles to look like stunning, right? Um, anyway. I've seen so many worse bottles than this that honestly doesn't really bother me now. So the fragrance here is actually, well, it's a Shepra fragrance with green notes, okay? So uh, if you're not sure if you like it, then I think it's a good way to try because you won't uh, have to break a bank, right? So we have here cardamom, cloves, some sandalwood, uh, we have some like orange, uh, the green notes very, very prominent here. Uh, I think this fragrance is something else definitely something i don't have in my collection i can't really tell you if this reminds me of anything or not because this is a new area for me i don't have much to compare um i think it's a good fragrance actually um although i'm not 100 percent sure i have to tell you the more i play with this the more i like it so i think this is probably a good starter for shepherd fragrances uh i just want to explore that fragrance family a little bit more so personally, I'm actually quite happy with the purchase. Uh, is it a good one comparing to other shipper fragrances? That's for you to tell. Uh, so if some of you actually tried our fragrance already, please let me know if this is a good shipper fragrance or is it just me not knowing my stuff here <laughs> and being like happy with whatever I got. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's move on. So the next one is Noir. And this is the box. The bottle looks like this. It's like a very classic um, looking bottle. And the juice. Okay, so what do we have here? This is like a gorgeous, like gorgeous, boozy, uh, kind of like rum and raisin type of scent, like very warm, very cozy, a little bit smoky, dark and sophisticated. Uh, this is like a perfect, wintery gourmandish scent to me i love it i mean i love how it smells um i have to tell you again this is another one that smells much more expensive than it actually is it doesn't it doesn't smell like 10 pounds that i paid for it uh yeah this is gorgeous but definitely for winter not not something i'm going to wear now i'm just it's not even autumn it's just proper winter very cozy very mm, just gorgeous let me read you the notes so in top notes we actually have incense and apple i don't really get much apple from it i don't know um, middle notes cinnamon iris and oud and then base notes vanilla leather and amber wood uh, guys i have to tell you if you love that kind of like boozy i mean there's no tobacco but i could swear there is some tobacco in it i don't know might be wrong but if you like that type of scent with like boozy tobacco kind of vibes a little bit of smokiness here and there uh try this you won't regret and again if you will you can give it away and uh, you won't be crying after spending tenner uh, for it all right the last one is or boreal this is how it looks uh it's all flashing because it's all gold you have to trust me, uh, it doesn't look that bad in real uh, life, but it seems quite flashy when I show it in the camera. Uh, but yeah, it is not as bad as it looks in the camera. Okay, <laughs> uh, the fragrance is, again, quite nice. Again, it smells like more expensive than £10, but obviously, I mean, it's not difficult, right? Uh, but this is probably one of those fragrances that doesn't smell super expensive. It's like a really nice vanilla and tonka composition with some sandalwood uh if you love vanilla if you love sweet fragrances then then you'll probably enjoy this one 
for me this fragrance is a little bit too sweet for spring uh, it would work better like i think late summer or autumn uh nice sweet gourmandish scent and the main notes here are bergamot jasmine and freesia in top notes uh middle notes tonka bean vanilla and heliotrope and then we have sandalwood patchouli and musk in base but as i just mentioned for me this is mostly tonka vanilla there's a little bit of sourness uh which is like probably bergamot um and uh, a little bit like like a touch of woodiness in it so yeah i do like it i do like the fragrance uh i think this is for vanilla lovers definitely if you don't like vanilla don't buy it uh but other than that i think this fragrance is actually definitely worth the money so these are the five uh pascal morabito female fragrances i tested i'm going to show you the bonus fragrance which is the one i got for robert this is great quartz and this one is supposedly it smells a little bit like a uh, fahrenheit by dior i don't know because i don't really know much about like male fragrances the bottle is actually actually nice simple nice yeah, nothing to add. Uh, it smells really nice. I mean, Robert loves it. I love it too. So yeah, sounds perfect. Uh, and I'm just showing this to you. So to indicate that Pascal Morabito actually has really nice masculine fragrances too. So it's probably worth checking. Okay, back to the female scents. A quick sum up of what I already said and what my experience with, the fra with these fragrances was. First of all, let's talk about performance. I mean, obviously it's not crazy. It's not something that will last on your skin forever. I would probably say between four and six, seven hours, depending on the fragrance. Uh, I don't really mind respraying for that price, honestly. I kind of expect performance from uh, something that's quite expensive, that costs like over like, let's say 80 pounds. No, even 50 pounds. That's something I'll probably expect proper performance. But if something is that cheap, I don't really mind respraying. But that's just my opinion, obviously. As for the fragrances, they are beautifully made. Uh, the bottles are not too amazing but the fragrances are really gorgeous and they don't smell cheap at all they smell actually quite expensive some of them smell properly expensive uh the others smell like you know like designer type of fragrances would um so i think this is a really good uh, value for your money um are they like groundbreaking or super original no they're not you know most of these fragrances remind me of something so that means they're not like extremely original but what they remind me of are usually expensive fragrances uh so that's a good thing right uh they're not dupes by all means they're not dupes they just have this resemblance there uh and obviously i mean pascal morabito has a massive collection of fragrances i'm pretty sure there are fragrances that are just not that good um but the ones that i've tried are amazing uh, and i just picked them up according to like my preferences i just checked the notes before these are all blind buys but obviously these are controlled blind buys i very rarely buy something just you know because i like the packaging or something i always check the notes uh before purchasing so i kind of knew what i would be getting i mean some sometimes you can be surprised right sometimes you can read the notes and it just turns out to be something completely different to what you expected uh but i kind of knew where i was going with this so i can't say i'm super surprised but i'm really surprised with how expensive some of these fragrances smell so what do you guys think have you tried any of these fragrances if so please let me know down in the comments below uh if you tried something i haven't uh please let me know what's actually what else is worth trying uh or if you don't like it just let me know what not you buy <laughs> that's always a good thing to know too right uh thank you very much for watching if you'd like to see more fragrance content check these videos on my left side see you very very soon take care bye